Good evening, everyone. I'm back, finally. It's been, what, six months? Something like that. Yeah. So a lot of people have been asking, where have you, where have you gone? And I know there's been people leaving comments down in my previous videos about Farming Simulator, and I haven't gone back to you, and I'm sorry. It's just been... Work has been crazy, and this is actually what I... What I've been doing in real life, I am a excavating foreman for a large construction company uh, in Maryland. And I've got some pretty big jobs right now, so I'm keeping my guys busy and running machines, going where, jumping around, doing whatever I have to to get the job done. And the construction industry is booming right now, so we're trying to get a lot of stuff done while we can before um, a possible recession hits. So I've been working 12, 14, 16 hour days, trying to get a lot of stuff done. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is the fact that we have Construction Simulator from Astragon. Yeah. I've been waiting for this game for about seven years. I think their last one came out in 2015. And it's, the, the 15 was pretty good. Uh, for sure. Uh, there was some stuff I was hoping that was going to make it into this game. And some of it did and some of it didn't. Um, but this game is very, very quirky. I don't know if I would refer to this as a full-blown simulator. Because some of the stuff just is not realistic at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, you can still learn stuff from it. But it's don't be expected or expecting to play this for a little bit and be able to go out and run construction equipment it, it's just not going to happen it's it's nowhere near close enough um and i think some people are going to be disappointed in it because they're going to be comparing it to things like farming simulator 22 or american or euro truck simulator or even microsoft flight or uh, microsoft flight simulator those are, in my opinion, true realistic simulators. Uh, the amount of stuff you can do is pretty incredible. And not going to lie, Astragon kind of missed their mark a little bit on this one. It's, don't get me wrong, It's I still think it's worth the money, by far. I have 11 hours, over 11 hours, almost 12 hours of game time so far, and... I can actually show you guys. Oops, not that menu. There is too many menus in this game. I can tell you that much. Uh, progress. All right, so I have 11.9 hours and I am only 8% complete. So that's pretty good. That's that's a pretty long play. I think that would end up working out to about 120, 130 hours of game time, which is honestly really good because not a lot of games have that long of campaigns anymore which is kind of sad because I, I like campaigns um, and that's why I'm just kind of doing this video here like this and not doing just like a, a, a let's play series on it because one uh, there's plenty of people out there doing that already since the game just came out on Tuesday but two none of them are actually doing reviews of the game and and if they do they don't really understand you know, they're playing from a non-heavy equipment operator standpoint, which is, I am a heavy equipment operator, so I can kind of give you guys insight about just how accurate this game is or not. And, like I said, it, it's not the most accurate game. There's, there's tons of flaws, um, but I don't want to get too crazy into that right now. This is more just to kind of show you guys what it's like for a heavy equipment operator to be playing this um the digging motions with the excavator are, are a little bit off so i am actually excavating a foundation for a building pad and a lot of the time when we're digging building pads we're gonna have when we're doing the flat bottom we're gonna have our bucket sitting flat on the ground and we're gonna pull it towards us but as you can see i'm barely picking up material so that's one way it's it's not very realistic the physics are a little bit off i have to if i want to dig i have to dig with my bucket like nine perpendicular to the ground 
which we wouldn't do that in real life because we were over digging cause compaction issues with the soil below but honestly it's not bad i still think it's worth the money i, I really do they have a good selection of equipment the way they did the the job and contract system is awesome this time uh, you have both the i think it's europe and the usa obviously uh, since i'm based in maryland in the usa i'm playing the usa map and i do like that they let you pick um, which country you want to be in i have not tried playing the euro one yet but if you think about it if i'm eight percent through the american one and i could still go play the europe one that is a lot of gameplay time a lot of time which is awesome game is still very entertaining um, it does have some pretty good machines in it it's cool to see that they have brand or got brand rights uh, especially with kenworth and mac and cat and um origin and all sorts of stuff so that's pretty cool um so I guess I should tell you, this is the Cat 349 F Excavator, which is probably one of their big icons for the excavating industry. Um, it's a pretty, it's a, it's a big excavator. And my company personally doesn't own any 349s, but we own 336s, which are just a little bit smaller. And the one thing they did get very accurate is I know in real life, the... The 336 and the 349 have very similar size buckets, so I should be able to load this Kenworth T80 triaxle dump truck in about five to six buckets, which it does. So that was cool to see that they got that accurate. Um, and there was problems in the last construction simulator game with the controls and being able to set up two joysticks, it just didn't work. You can definitely do that in this game. I am running a Logitech X56 Hotas on my right stick and a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro on the left stick. Um, I was hoping to be able to use my Logitech steering wheel and pedals to... I just got stuck on that, didn't I? Way to go, Dave. Way to go. I'll just scrape this up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Back to what you're doing. Um, but the steering wheel, if you're expecting to play this game with a steering wheel, you're going to be disappointed. Uh, Astragon really needs to add dead zone access control sliders because right now the dead zone on the steering wheel is so high that basically the truck doesn't start turning until I have turned the steering wheel over 90 degrees. It makes driving just about impossible. So I've actually resorted to using an Xbox controller to drive the wheeled vehicles with and I use the joysticks for operating the tracked machines. Um, definitely not ideal, not what I was hoping for, but it is what it is. Uh, hopefully Astragon will let out a, a hotfix for that or do an update or something. Because it's it's just unplayable on the steering wheel right now. I have a try going into Logitech G-Hub and all that stuff to try and set it up. And I just, I cannot get it to work no matter what I do, which is very unfortunate. Because the honestly, the inside of the trucks are, are pretty nicely modeled. It, it's, now don't get me wrong, it's definitely no American truck. Um, the gauges don't exactly work. The speedometers are stuck in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. Um, but it, they did improve some stuff, but they also lost some function. But the thing that I think a lot of people are going to like is this is a, a multiplayer compatible game. So you can start a job uh, like I could have hired or not hired. I could have opened a multiplayer game so that I could have someone driving the dump truck for me, um, which is pretty cool. And 
I am disappointed in the fact that in so in the last game in Construction Sim 2015, if you were running an asphalt miller, you had the option to hire an AI helper to drive the dump truck for you in front of the miller so it would catch all the millings coming off of the conveyor belt. They took that option away, which is really unfortunate, especially if you're wanting to play this like by yourself as a single player. You're just going to hate the road work jobs. You just are. I'm sorry, but they... They need they they should put that option back in for right now, um, but it would be cool to get some friends and be able to have someone driving a dump truck, you know, doing all that stuff. Or um, it'll be interesting to see, especially in some of the bigger jobs, because still I have a long way to go in this game. And oh, I'm done building my foundation, digging my foundation. All right, let's. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what my next step is. Um, so yeah, that could be really cool if there's big job sites where you could have multiple machines running and uh, with multiple friends. That'd be awesome. That's something I think we, we've been missing. I know it's something that a lot of modders for Farming Sim 22 have been trying to get into is trying to convert and make it into um, being able to play construction type stuff. So that I haven't played yet. I've been trying to beat the single player, or not beat. I've been trying to get more acclimated with the game and figure out my controls, um, s stuff like that. Okay, I need to deliver and spread gravel. All right. Um, but yeah, the. I think probably the one machine that I, I'm really disappointed in is the dozer. Um, the dozer is just. The controls are not accurate, there's functions missing, um, and then if you want to flip between the dozer and the excavator, you might actually have to go in and change your joystick settings every single time you want to do it, uh, which is really annoying and aggravating, and I feel like Astragon kind of missed out on an opportunity. They have the, the Cat DT dozer, which is, don't get me wrong, it's a great dozer, but it, it's just not as common in the United States as you would think. I think, honestly, the king of construction dozers is by far the D6. The D6 is way more versatile, it's a lot cheaper to move, uh, it's better on fuel, and you have a six-way blade. The D8 is just a slot pusher, it just pushes dirt forward and that's that's mainly for stripping um yeah i wish that they would have had the d6 in here i i really do even if it was like if they that came out as a dlc i would buy that dlc in a heartbeat i, I absolutely would but um yeah i mean the game is not bad it's 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 entertaining for sure but you just have to go in knowing that you're not going to get a full-blown simulator that's totally realistic um, and, and the graphics, honestly, I, it, not much has changed with the graphics, unfortunately. It still feels like I'm playing just a DLC for uh, the 15 game, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to be a little bit better. Um, I'm still trying to play with all the settings because the frame rate is not as good as it should be, honestly. It, it just, it's not. But I think this one will keep me entertained for a while. So if you guys want to see more um, or have me go more in depth about what I like and don't like about this game, just, just let me know. Drop a comment, hit like. Um, I'm sorry for all the people who have uh, posted comments uh, recently about uh, farming sim and stuff like that. I just have not had the time to go through that. And uh, honestly, I forgot how to do some of the stuff I was making videos about because it's been so long since I played. I mean. Shoot, that I went four months without even turning my PC on. Today's literally the first time I've played in a very long time, and that's only because I got a rain day. So, but I'm hoping I can play a little bit more here recently. Um, and shoot, even if I, I might need some people to help me play, you know, I might need some multiplayer uh, assistants, workers. I pay well. <laughs> 
No. Well, I don't. I don't know. Can I pay you? I wonder how that works. All right, guys. That's it. I want to keep this a video short, like I usually do. So uh, I hope you guys have an awesome night, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll let you watch me get stuck on this dirt pile or gravel pile real quick. Am I stuck? Am I stuck? No. Getting out of it. Getting out of it. All right. I'm out.